show y'all quick um this like cauliflower mess that I'm doing right now is just slicing up some green onions and I'll show y'all what I have so like I said I'm gonna have this over some pan fried broccoli I guess this is more like you know sauteed or whatever but <clears throat> in this bowl I have cream cheese, sour cream, just some seasoning, um, some like Mrs. Dash, you know, black pepper, garlic pepper, garlic powder, stuff like that. So now I'm going to put my onions in there. I got my, I got my cauliflower all ready to go. So, oh, uh, and then I'm supposed to do, I'm supposed to do some bacon, so right now I'm just going to mix this. This cream cheese, though. And I did measure everything, put everything in card manager, like, for this recipe. I said it yielded four servings, but I think I'm going to, like, boost my, um, <clears throat> But to get to mixing, girl. So I think I'm supposed to mix this then. I mix this up together and then mix it with the uh, cauliflower rice and put it all together. So I'm going to put my bacon in the air fryer. And I'm actually going to be using that turkey bacon that I showed you guys. So you want to try to get one that says, um, this may or may not say cured out. Somebody did send things to the group that's why I went for um, some uncured bacon. But this one um, is not. So yeah, y'all see that chicken? Y'all see that chicken. <laughs> It's pretty much already hot, but I want to. I'll keep the temperature on to on 370. It's already hot, really. So it's already has burned with some extra burn. All the boys burn. Seasoning, even though it looks pretty seasoned, I just feel like you can never really go wrong with it. So 
of this in my box, please. Let me show y'all this. Make sure that's all the oil. And birthday, so this is one tablespoon. And we say we're measuring over here, we're measuring over here. Bacon has been in there for seven minutes, so let's check on it. Mm. I feel like this is not bad. Let me take a look at it. Alright, so I'm going to put it on a paper plate and let this drain and um, cut it up or whatever. Cut it up and put it in that little mixture and drain a little bit. <clears throat> it's not bad. This one even got a little crispy. So I'm gonna let this cool down for just a minute while I um this over here. I want this oil to get hot. I don't want this broccoli to be sitting there for too long. Maybe I need to put a little bit more broccoli. making a sizzle in the waist, but it's okay. So I couldn't end up finishing. So y'all, this is the final result of the cauliflower mash and the broccoli. Oh, this was okay, this was really good, broccoli, and I'm definitely not. gonna make this again, oh, but next time in the oven for and sure. So I had to mix up the cheeses and melted it up. Kind of looks like um, it kind of looks like some grits. So I guess that's kind of what it looks like. Anyway, yeah. I'm going to hey. scoop some of this on my plate. Oh. 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 I don't know if I need to weigh this first. Let me see. little J bays <laughs> um so as y'all know like I said I'm doing keto and with keto you cannot have like all this um sweeteners and stuff like that so I do love some coffee I am a like coffee with my creamer kind of girl so I'm figuring I'm about to do this bulletproof coffee for the first time I don't know what it's gonna taste like but I feel like it's got some good stuff so I use this ground coffee. This is my first time using this as well. I saw this in Kroger. I usually get the medium roast. 
um like breakfast blend coffee that's what's in here but i wanted to try this one out to give it a little you know try to get a little flavor um to get my fats in i have a tablespoon of butter and they said this also actually adds to the saltiness so i got some vanilla extract to put in here which i'm gonna do like um one fourth teaspoon and same thing for the cinnamon just a little dash of cinnamon in here and then i get to have a whole whopping tablespoon of this what's called. so let's let's see all right got my coffee like i said i got my oh this is salted dang i should have got unsalted but anyway this is the tillamook and I'm gonna do it said it's a taste, so maybe I just do a little. And then I guess really I'm just gonna Bye. sprinkle Bye. some of this. Bye. Cinnamon kind of strong, I don't want too much. This is my favorite part right there. Whipping cream. Mm. 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 Get out of I'm gonna just use this because um, it has a little bit more thing left on it. Let that butter melt, y'all. Oh my gosh, this smells amazing! It smells so good. Mm. So I guess that butter does give it a little extra frothiness. Mmm, smells so good. So it says that we can also do the um sweetener like the monk fruit sweetener or something like that and i'm not gonna lie yeah i'll get some of that <laughs> at least it says one tablespoon so yeah i would definitely get some of that but other than that like this is good and i'm about to i'm about to drink this so yeah